Hello, and welcome back to A Swift Look. I'm Zoe Jewell, and before we get into today's show, I just want to ask that if you haven't already subscribed to our channel, please, please go ahead and do so. If you love Taylor Swift, if you love talking about any news related to Taylor Swift, her new music, rankings, hot takes, anything and everything Taylor Swift, this is the channel for you. So please go ahead and hit that subscribe button, especially because we are just mere weeks away from a new album coming out, which means we're going to have a lot of things to discuss and you don't want to miss any of it. Okay. For today's show, first story that we're going to be talking about, we're actually going to be sort of, um, I'm trying to figure out whether or not I think it's true or not. So there was a report that came out in Us Weekly that said that Taylor and Travis are thinking about living together full time. Now, obviously they've spent a good chunk of time together over the last month or so, really since Taylor finished up her tour for this next, I don't know, she's got about another six weeks off. Um, They basically spent all that time together in Los Angeles. They obviously went on their vacation in the Bahamas. They then, we think, went to Nashville for a couple days, maybe Philadelphia for Easter. But the reality is they've spent all this time together, spending time together. But again, according to Us Weekly, they may be making the permanent decision to live together full time. Now, according to this report, they would be splitting their time between LA, New York, and then obviously Kansas City, especially when Travis is in season with the Chiefs, which I think for the most part would be the fall, winter um, of this upcoming year. Otherwise, they'd spend that time LA, New York, which makes sense, obviously, for two massive, massive celebrities, they're going to want to spend time in places where they can at least sort of exist like normal people. We know that Taylor loves Nashville, but unfortunately at this point in her career, she's kind of too famous to be spending a lot of time in Nashville. I think New York, LA, they're just like easier places for someone like her to be able to go out to dinner or hang out with friends or whatever. Um, A little bit easier, not that much easier. So they would split their time between all these three different cities, which again, makes makes total sense. Uh, And then the report also said that there is no quote, rush to get engaged. Having so much fun, they're having so much fun and enjoying things. So there's no rush to get engaged. She loves how down to earth Travis is and it's a very healthy relationship. Things are very serious and they're both thinking of the next steps. Okay. Do I think they're seriously considering living together full time? I mean, yes, but I don't think they're going to be like purchasing real estate together anytime soon. And this is the difference between celebrities and regular folks like you and I. If we were wanting to move in with somebody, there's like a lot of discussion to be made. Will that other person give up their home and move into your home? Will you give up your home and move into their home? Because most people can't afford to have multiple homes. But when it comes to someone like Taylor Swift and obviously Travis Kelsey, they can afford to have multiple homes all over the world. And so nobody's having to give up their place in order to move in with somebody else. They can just live in these different homes whenever they want. So they're not having to make those hard decisions of like, are we going to sign a lease together? <laughs> are we going to go in on this mortgage together? Who's going to who's going to own this home? Like they don't have to work. They're nothing actually has to change with their relationship and they don't have to make any like permanent decisions together. They'll just both spend the same time in the same place, if that makes sense. So while I think they're going to be doing kind of what they've been doing the last month or so in Los Angeles, I think they're going to keep doing that over the course of their relationship. Um, and I guess technically live together, but it's not like they're going to be, again, buying a property together or anything like that. Um, so I think this is sort of true, but also it makes it sound a lot more like intense than I think it actually is. Because again, Travis owns his home in Kansas City. I'm assuming they're going to spend their time in Taylor's homes in LA and New York, because why not? Um So yeah, it's not like some major life decisions having to be made. They're just going to, again, spend the same amount of time in the same amount of places. Um, But as we know, with Taylor's tour coming up, she's basically going to be out of the country from mid-May until the end of August, give or take. So that's, I mean, 
essentially four-ish months, three and a half months where she's going to be away and they're going to be doing some version of long distance during that period of time. And then football season is going to start right away and they'll probably spend a good chunk of time in Kansas City. So I think this is not, I don't think this this story is like inaccurate necessarily. I just think it's making it seem like it's a lot bigger of a deal than it actually is. Um, the report did also say though that they may be thinking about going on another vacation soon. So obviously we know they went to the Bahamas just a couple weeks ago, but now they they think they might be doing a um, a vacation within the States. They said, quote, they're planning on getting, getting away again soon. They want peace and quiet. They've talked about Aspen and Lake Tahoe because it's easier for them to go somewhere in the U.S. on track. So again, wouldn't be shocked. I mean, Aspen and Lake Tahoe, beautiful places. Um, Lake Tahoe would be super easy for them to get to from Los Angeles. So I, I, I wouldn't be shocked if they did a, a quick little trip right after Taylor releases her album, like a little celebratory vacation. Um, and then she, she'll hit the road uh, and head on over to Europe, though I do think they'll go to the Met Gala. I've already talked about that. So again, lots of exciting things ahead. The report, you know, as, as I mentioned, said they're in no rush to get engaged, but they're, the things are very serious. I don't think there's a rush to get engaged, but I think if you believe that they're not talking about being engaged or getting engaged, then you are kind of delusional <laughs> because they're 34 years old, almost 35 years old. They're definitely talking about those things, whether or not they want them or don't want them, but like they're, they're having that conversation. Um, and they haven't, I mean, they've been together, what, eight, nine months, depending on when you think they actually started dating. So it hasn't been a full year yet, but I still maintain they're going to get engaged by the end of the season or by the end of the year. Um, but I kind of feel like it's going to happen. Apparently, I don't know if this is true or not, but apparently there's some like unwritten rule within like the football world that you aren't really supposed to get engaged or get married or anything during the regular season because it gives off the um, look that you're distracted. Like if you choose to get engaged in the regular season, it looks like your focus is elsewhere, which is kind of silly because like everyone's focus. I mean, a lot of these players have kids and families and like, of course they should focus on their families and like their love lives and personal lives too. So it's sort of silly, but I, I have heard that. And if you actually look at like the football players who've gotten engaged recently, most of them tend to happen in the off season before the regular season starts. And so a part of me does feel like if it's going to happen, it's going to happen like over the summer before the season starts, because I feel like Travis is very aware of not wanting people to think that he's distracted or that his mind is elsewhere. Like he's very dialed in and focused when it comes to his football. So my prediction is still like by August, we'll have a ring on her finger. We'll see. Okay. Moving on to some other news. Um, one that I thought was just kind of funny so apparently Taylor Swift's mom was hesitant about Taylor's signature red lip or what was to become Taylor's red lip, which she wears all the time. So the makeup artist Gucci Westman uh, was on the Today Show and she revealed that she actually created or she actually pushed for Taylor to have the iconic red lipstick um, for the cover of Allure magazine back in April 2009. So a long time ago, she said, quote, I remember I really wanted to do a red lip on her because I hadn't seen her in a red lip before. And her mom, if I'm allowed to say this, was like, well, Taylor doesn't wear red. And I was like, please, can I just try? Look at her now. Which, I mean, Taylor back in 2009 would have been, how old would she have been? Like 19 years old, something like that, give or take. Math is not my strong suit. So she would have still been relatively young. And like wearing red lipstick is definitely like a mature thing to do. Like it kind of ages you. You don't see a lot of young people who wear red lipstick, I would say. Um, but it is so funny. Like it has become such a, a signature look of Taylor Swift. Obviously, like not that she named her album Red because of her red lipstick, but she's got the red on the album cover. And then like just in general, she always, she loves a red lipstick. Um, So I don't know. If, I feel like she still probably would have found the red lipstick had it not been for this makeup artist. But thank you to her for creating the iconic look that is one Miss Taylor Allison Swift. Um, and then the last piece of news, which is more, it's more just funny. I don't think it's actually obviously serious, but it is just kind of, it, it made me laugh, which is that um, Travis Kelsey may already have his first baby name planned out. So New Heights, 
Travis's podcast with Jason Kelsey dropped on Wednesday and they had a very iconic guest on their show, one Mr. Arnold Schwarzenegger. Um, And Travis revealed that he wants to potentially name his first child off of one of Arnold's iconic characters. So if you don't know the 1982 film Conan the Barbarian, yeah, Travis wants to maybe name his child after Conan. He said, quote, I might name my first kid Conan. I might. (laughs) Which I just have to say, first of all, does Taylor Swift know about this? Because I kind of can't see... I mean, Conan Kelsey is actually kind of a cool name that actually works. Um, but I would love to know if Travis or if Taylor knows about this. And it does make me think like, again, I don't believe that we should, I think it's when we put these like expectations on famous people to like get married and have kids. And like, we don't, we don't know what people actually want um, unless they come out and say, yes, I want to get married. Yes. I want to have children. I don't think it's fair for us to like put those expectations onto people. But it does make me wonder, like, okay, have they talked about having kids? And if so, you have to imagine someone like Taylor Swift, who is so organized and detailed and like thoughtful and creative, you know that she has a notes app in her phone with baby names that she loves. I just, I just know that she does. Um, I feel like she's probably had that for years and years and years, just like keeping track of names that she likes. And I would like to know if she has Conan. <laughs> on that list because my thought is that she doesn't. Um, But who knows? Maybe if, when Taylor and Travis have a kid, maybe they'll name that kid Conan. We will have to wait and see. Okay, guys, that is it for today's episode. Again, please subscribe to our channel, follow us on social media, and we'll see you guys next time. Bye.